you were buried today, in 3,000 years, there would be nothing left of your body. Egyptians created a way for dead bodies to be preserved so effectively that after 3,000 years, their remains give us a glimpse of how they looked long ago. Mummification was an ancient Egyptian custom used to preserve and prepare bodies for the afterlife. Specific steps are required to properly mummify a body. The body was first taken to a wabe, a workshop where the body was cleansed and purified. After the body was cleansed, the brain was removed using a long hook. The Egyptians didn't think that the brain was important, so it wasn't kept or preserved. The next step involved the removal of the inner organs using specialized tools. The lungs. The intestines. The stomach and the liver were all removed. The heart, however, was left inside the body. It was considered the essence of a person. Each organ was placed in a different canopic jar. The jars had different heads depicting each one of Horus's sons. Next, the body cavity was stuffed with nitron, a salt that dried out and purified the body. The body was then elevated and left to dry for 40 days. After 40 days, the body was stuffed and artificial eyes were put in. They would also attach nails by threading them onto the fingers. After this, the body was ready to be wrapped. The embalmers would wrap the body in linen bandages that also came with jewels and charms to protect the body for the afterlife. Even important animals were mummified and buried alongside their owners. After the body was mummified, they were put into coffins that were intricately designed and decorated. Ancient Egyptians believed so heavily in the afterlife that they preserved their bodies so that they could follow them into the afterlife perfectly intact. Worldly possessions and family were buried with them as well because they believed that these things were the only things that could be taken into the afterlife with them. Anubis was the jackal-headed god of mummification and the afterlife. Once the body was mummified, The Ba, which is the soul of the person that lived, left the body to reunite with the Ka in the afterlife. The mummies were buried with a guidebook called the Book of the Dead, containing spells and instructions to ensure safe passage through the dangers of the underworld. The journey through the underworld culminated in the Day of Judgment in the Hall of the Two Truths, where the deceased was led to a great set of scales, where his heart, containing the deeds of their lifetime, was weighed against the Feather of Truth. The fate of the deceased would then be decided, either entrance into the perfect afterlife or to be sent to the devourer of the dead. The afterlife was referred to as the field of offerings. It was a place of rest. Understanding the reasons why Egyptians used mummification helps us learn more about the way that they lived and prospered for so many years.